Uh, let's get a little bit into the teaching hospital aspect of this because it's sure. a big b piece about what you guys do, right? So yeah. uh, you mentioned earlier that you're doing a program yourself, you know, uh -huh. to train other anesthetists, uh, yeah. you know, from around the country. But there's other programs as well there. Yeah. Um, I mentioned earlier the like, kind of the two-pronged focus or mission, compassionate care, sharing Jesus. The other side is training and training with excellence. And uh, we have multiple training programs in, in surgery. Uh, anesthesia, uh, midwifery, which is maternity, right. um, ophthalmology, mm -hmm. and we have the nursing school itself, you know, that trains nurses uh, there. Um, and we're looking to start a primary care program also. Mm -hmm. um, big component of these training programs is not only training people in good care, right. you know, yeah. knowledge and just care and hands-on stuff, but also uh, training and discipling them to be great leaders, yeah. great uh, young Christian men and women that, that can lead yeah. and that can mm -hmm. take over things, you know. Because many of the people that, we, that come here, especially in our surgical training program, come from other countries in Africa. Mm -hmm. It's the Pan-African Academy of Christian Surgeons. So we get uh, surgical uh, trainees, they're doctors that come in from all over Africa, mm -hmm. we train them and send them back right. to other countries where yeah. they're skilled in surgery and then also Christian leaders in communities uh, in some places that have very little access to the gospel. Yeah, no I, I've heard so many stories yeah. that out of Bungalow where, you know, like, uh, especially in the nursing program where nurses have come in and then gone back to their villages and mm -hmm. their small little yeah. villages that have no medical presence at all, you know, mm -hmm. and no clinic of any kind. They start a clinic and they're also sharing the gospel as they yeah. go, right? Mm -hmm. Because they've been trained on both sides. Yeah. And so they become almost like erstwhile church planters, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. uh, kind of like uh, sowing seeds of faith while doing medicine in the name of the Lord, which is such a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know, and then I've met myself, uh, some of the doctors that have graduated from the PACS program, yeah. and we've even had one of those doctors, Dr. Oh, Simplice, yeah. uh, you know, uh, and what's his last name? I'm sorry. Choba. Choba, that's yeah. right. And uh -huh. so we've had him actually here at our church oh, as yeah, well. wonderful. And yeah. so the, the beauty is, is that, that we see what God has done through those guys as they, they go back, some, in some cases, to their home countries, their home, their home cities, and they begin to apply what they've learned. It's yeah. just such a great model, yeah. you know? Yeah. And years, that's been going on, right? Yeah, the PACS program's been going on for 20 years. And, and, and the, the nursing training's been going on for 40 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When they came to start the, the hospital, they needed nurses, so they right. started a nursing program. So that, that's, you know, been going on for years. And the other ones have come along alongside with the same model, training and discipling and sending out. That's